the word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. You're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. So you focus on the breath. But you focus on the breath for the purpose of the mind. To develop the activities in mind or the qualities of mind that are needed to stay with something. It starts out with mindfulness, which means the ability to keep something in mind. You remember you're going to stay here. And then alertness. Watch what's actually going on, both in the breath and in the mind. And then ardency. If you see that the mind is wandering away, you come right back. You don't put it off for a little while. Because if you put it off for a little while, the little whiles begin to add up. And you find that they eat up all your meditation time. You've got to be strict with yourself as soon as you realize you come, you've wandered off, come right back, come right back. That's a quality called ardency. Now when you're with the breath, ardency means being especially sensitive to how the breath feels. When you breathe in, where does it feel? Where does it feel that the breath goes? Sometimes it'll be in line with what you think it is, and sometimes it'll be someplace else. Because there are energies moving around in the body all the time as you breathe in and breathe out. Connect with the shoulders, the chest, the back, in the head. And as you get more sensitive with the breath, you begin to realize that these energies spread throughout the entire body. In fact, it's good to think about that from the very beginning. The breath energy nourishes the entire nervous system. This is the energy that brings in the air, and it's the energy you want to focus on. Is that energy spreading through the body well, or does it feel like it's blocked in different places? So if it's blocked, are there any ways you can relax the blockage? And as you do this, you find that you can settle more and more into the body, and you're less and less likely to be pushed out outside by every little thought that comes through the mind. Your center of gravity gets lowered, so it's harder to push you off. If you don't find the breath interesting, it's very easy to wander off. So remind yourself, this is the energy of life in your body. It's nourishing all the different parts of the body. If it's not flowing well, there's going to be something wrong. But it's something that you can have some control over. There are a lot of bodily processes you can't control, but you can control the breath. Not by clamping down on it, but just by noticing when it's too long, when it's too short, relaxing areas that seem to be blocked. And you find the breath will then nourish the body. And when the body is nourished, the mind finds it easier to stay here. If the body is not comfortable, it's like trying to keep a beach ball underwater. As soon as you let go of your grip, it comes popping up. So you want the mind to want to stay here so you don't have to hold it in a grip so hard, so, so strongly. Just keep tabs on what's going on. Have a sense that you really belong here, that you go outside only when you have to. And this way your mindfulness gets stronger, your alertness gets stronger, your ardency gets stronger. And then those qualities can be used in the rest of your life. It's not just while you're here with the breath. And it's in this way that the mind really does develop in ways that you see not only while you meditate, but also in the rest of your life. <laughs>